How important is the Old Testament to you? In, in many, many churches, the Old Testament is a closed book. Apart from a few lovely readings at Christmas, many Christians never engage with the Old Testament. And this is a major problem. In Numbers chapter 12, Aaron and Miriam are speaking against Moses. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? Has he also spoken through us? They say. So the Lord says to Moses, Aaron, Aaron and Miriam, write you three to my office now. The Lord comes down in a pillar of cloud, stands at the entrance of the tent and says, right, be quiet. Listen to me. We read in Numbers 12. When there's a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak face to face, clearly and not in riddles. He sees the form of the Lord. Why then, Aaron and Miriam, were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The Lord is saying, yeah, it is true, I speak through many people in different ways, but Moses is unique. The prophets at the time might get visions and dreams, but the Lord spoke to Moses face to face. Moses saw the form of the Lord. God says, Moses is my, God says, Moses is my servant who is faithful in all my house. So, Numbers chapter 12 helps us tackle two wrong understandings of the Old Testament. The first wrong understanding, the first wrong view of the Old Testament is that it's not really from God. It might be human words about God, it might be loosely inspired in some way, but it's not God's word to us. Well, for at least 200 years, this view has been very strong in the church in the West. The book of Numbers says no. Numbers 12 says no. God appeared to Moses. He spoke to him face to face. So the books of Moses carry the authority of God. Do not speak against the Old Testament. That's the first problem. The second wrong understanding is is this. The Old Testament's okay, I suppose it's in the Bible, but really the New Testament's much better because we find Jesus in the New Testament and we're not sure about the Old Testament. But again, Numbers chapter 12 helps us. The Lord spoke to Moses face to face. Moses saw the form of the Lord. And in the last few weeks, As we've gone through the book of Exodus, we have seen that the Lord who speaks to Moses, the Lord who leads uh, Israel out of Egypt to the promised land, that is God the Son. God the Son, the second person of the Trinity. He's the one actively saving and leading his people. And in John's gospel, John chapter 5, Jesus makes this abundantly clear. I have testimony uh, weighted than that of John, for the works that the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I am doing, testify that the Father has sent me, and the Father who has sent me has himself testified concerning me. We have never heard his voice, <coughs> nor seen his form, nor does his dwell, um, nor does his word dwell in you. For you did not believe the one he sent. You studied the scriptures diligently, um, can't pronounce that word, but uh, because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that they testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So in John chapter 5, 
Jesus is speaking to some of the Jewish people of his day. He's been saying, you must listen to my words because I, says Jesus, I'm the son of the father and my words bring life to you. Then in verse 37 of John chapter 5, Jesus says, You've never heard his voice, the father's voice, nor seen his form. There's an echo of Numbers 12 here. No one has seen the father's voice or seen his form. So in the Old Testament, what was going on when people did hear the Lord's voice and like Moses, see his form or see his face? Well, it's clear. That was the Son of God. The appearances of the Lord throughout the Old Testament, throughout all these pages, they are appearances of the Lord Jesus Christ, long before he became one of us through the Virgin Mary. We've seen also, haven't we, in Exodus, how the visible Lord is often called the angel of the Lord. The word angel meaning messenger or sent one. Don't think harps and wings. The angel of the Lord is no creature. He's the Lord who's been sent from the Lord. And who is the one sent by the Father? Jesus is. In John 5 verse 36, Jesus says, the Father has sent me. In John 5 verse 38, Jesus says, you do not believe the one he sent. It's a reference to the sent one, the messenger, the angel of the Lord. Jesus is speaking to these Jewish people of his time. They knew the Old Testament was God's word. They knew Moses was uniquely authorised by God to speak. But they didn't see that when Moses spoke, it was about Christ. And John 5 verse 39, Jesus says, You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. So how important is the Old Testament to you? Well, Numbers chapter 12 tackles two false ways of thinking. For those who think the Old Testament is not God's word, we're told God spoke to Moses face to face, so listen to Moses. And secondly, for those who think the Old Testament is not about Jesus, we're told the Lord appeared to Moses. So listen to Moses as he speaks about Christ. The Old Testament is the word of God that continually testifies to Jesus, the Son of God, so that we might come to him to find life. 